Welcome to the channel Invest Function. In this video, let's quickly discuss about an intraday strategy. In the past, I've made several videos about intraday strategies. Right now, I'm selecting stocks based on those strategies which we discussed earlier. So we will also see how the stocks performed. Uh, I used to make videos and uh, select uh, pick stocks based on the earlier strategies I posted. This this is a live video that I come every morning in Tamil channel. You can just uh, tune into this channel and see what are the stocks that I'm recommending. And you can also see how these stocks perform. So I've given totally uh, today morning I've given Cipla, Industower, Zomato, Renuka. Uh, we'll see how these four stocks perform. First I will open Renuka. So we, we even before the market opens I've given these recommendations. So you can see here. I'll just remove this Bollinger band. So Renuka, I, this is uh, 11th, this 12th actually. So it actually opened at 48 and it made a high of 51 and it closed at 49. So uh, it's this is the this is the, it, these stocks are nearly 1% risk after immediately we need to take position after um, entry. So it are nearly given a decent uh, of around I think. Uh, one person means 0 0.4 0 0.4 to nearly one percent I think one to two percent has given target Renuka so this is the this thing next I have given uh, Zomato Zomato 15 five percent Zomato up today morning I have given this talk you can see in the uh, video this is uh, streamed live eight hours ago then indus tower and sipla sipla is uh, negative so it would have hit a stop loss of around one percent so you can keep risk of one percent and target of two to three percent like that sipla then indus tower so again indus tower is up by three percent from opening you can see here how it uh, made so these are the stocks that I, I used to give in the morning uh, you can uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, get the daily updates in the morning 8 around 8 to 7 30 to 8 I used to come and recommend these stocks important stocks so you can subscribe to power Pongo. so it's a little bit difficult to you know post uh, come live especially in the morning in both the channels so that is the reason uh, so now let's quickly see about our uh, intraday strategy. So the name of the strategy is called Bollinger Band Breakout. So we already know what is a Bollinger Band. So it will be like this and the band will be expanding here and it's contracting here. Then again it will expand here. So the stock would have uh, traveled here and in this space it will be like consolidation. Then again it will uh, break either the upper band. We call it as upper band lower band and middle will have a line so we, once i show it in the screen you will get a clear idea so once we we will take entry based on the uh, breakout of the lower band or breakout of the upper band if it's breaking the upper band uh, there will be a uh, steady movement on the upside if it's breaking the lower band we will take entry so we will uh, use charting scanner to uh, select the stocks and uh, take entry so we are not going to manually open each and every stock and we are not going to uh, you know uh, manually select stocks everything is scanner so once the scanner gives the results and we will take based on that so now let's uh, quickly go and see what is that scanner uh, how the back test and all it's coming everything so this is the scanner so uh, I, I will give the a link of the scanner to access the scanner in the description you can quickly access it so today uh, this is the scans which are uh, came at 320 okay it has just broken the lower band or upper band we will see so I will just load Mahindra and Mahindra finance I have opened this is a 15 minutes time frame so once you open this you go to indicator and load the Bollinger band so immediately you will have this uh, 20 moving average lower band upper band so the stock just broken the lower band that is the reason the uh, this has given entry okay so before using the scanner you just try to understand what is the concept basic concept behind this code 
so the first uh, i will just show you so i already said that we have upper band and lower bollinger band For what we are going to do is we have minus one candle and minus one candle a second uh, minus two candle minus two candle so we'll have zeroth candle okay minus one candle this one and minus two candle we have three candles means we will uh, charting scanner will mention the first candle zero minus one and minus two candle that is previous then previous candle would be minus three minus four it goes on like that so first we are going to uh, analyze the subtract the uh, bollinger band for minus one candle so we are going to subtract if this is the bollinger band we will just subtract upper bollinger band minus lower bollinger band see if this value is 4 and this value is 2 if we subtract we will have this space with this 2 ok so similarly uh, we will have this value we will keep this value when then we will compare this value should be less than previous candle ok from here we will consider 100 minimum 115 minute candle and we will analyze whether uh, this value is uh, big uh, less than all the previous 100 candles if this is less if the answer is true then there is a squeeze of the bullinger band then once we identify the squeeze using the first uh, this thing okay then we will use the crossed above and crossed below uh, start if the 15 minute price is crossed above the lower band or below the from the squeeze then we will take entry so that is the concept so we are just subtracting the so we are just subtracting the upper bollinger band and minus one we will have this value as 2 let us say then we will compare 100 candle and uh, we will keep checking if this uh, if anything is less than 2 if this is actually less then from here we will consider breakout and break entry okay that is the actual concept of this bollinger band so uh, once you got this idea you can go to backtest results and download this csv and you can backtest it so here we have uh, several stocks you can since i don't have the office activated i used to use the google sheet and do it so here if you keep on this column you'll have this date here date and day at which the stock has broken the lower band or upper band and you can take position so i will just take uh, any one stock here uh, let us take uh, uh, any one stock uh, especially especially at uh, we will have stocks at different time frame sometimes it will be around uh, 9 uh, 9 o'clock it's uh, 9 15 itself sometimes 3 30 so uh, you can actually take after uh, some 9 30 or uh, like that 11 30 or 9 30 so we have uh, 9 45 we have abfrl let us see then we have delta corp at 10 15 5th july you can back test all the stocks i will just open delta corp 10 15 5th july So at 10 15 you can see 5th July so it actually broken the lower band okay here 10 uh, this is the 10 15 candle I will keep on this you can see here this is 10 15 it has actually broken at this specific candle after breaking you can keep one person stop loss okay so let us see uh, it has broken at 170 at 172.0 point exactly at 172.0 point to July uh, it actually broken at uh, 172.3 so 172 I just open the calculator. 172.3 was the entry short price from here if I keep 1% stop loss I will add that 1.72 so 174.02 is my stop loss so from here 10-15 uh, you can see it just made a high of 173.45 okay this is the candle after that this is the high on that day this is 5th and this is 6th 
this is the time frame which we are seeing at 10 15 it broken it made a high of 172 uh, 173 point 173.45 only we have stop loss is 174 so after that you can see the stock actually end of day it uh, closed around 168 nearly there's a 3 to 4 percent profit on this Bollinger band breakout stock similarly you can uh, just open different stocks uh, avoid the stocks which is giving at after 315 before 3 o'clock you can just uh, run the scanner and uh, uh, back test these uh, details in the uh, and see how the risk reward and all everything is matching uh, once you are comfortable with this then daily you can use this uh, scanner to uh, take the entry short or buy the stock based on the entry and exit so I hope you got a clear idea on this how to uh, you know um, back test this and uh, take entry and exit one keeping a one percent stop loss or two percent and uh, keeping a target of three percent one is to three risk reward and like that so especially beginners who are in the market so what they d they does is first they won't we are having an effective strategy so you need to have an effective strategy then back test it like i just showed download the sheet and back test it how the results are coming if you're if you're serious about trading you can do this else it's not needed then third is consistency implement it daily just wait for the stock to uh, break and give the scanner to uh, results after that you take so this is how we need to uh, you know uh, use the scanner and uh, take entry exit breakout so for daily uh, stocks based on what i'm selecting and subscribe to power pungu and you can get this uh, stocks which i'm mentioning daily so thank you uh, bye bye so if you're a beginner and i've given the link in the description of this video you can use this link to open an account and get uh, option strategies courses we will discuss about the option strategies as well uh, different strategies so that and all it's uh, it will be easy to you know um, predict as the index will be in range bound everything you can get these courses free of cost by opening an account and whatsapping your number to this number so thank you again bye bye